Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we're going north of the border because Porter received an order from a viewer who sent me one or two -er bottles of whiskey for me to review. Thank you to Jim Mazzelli. You son of a bitch. You awesome SOB. Thank you to Jim Mazzelli for sending me a bottle of this rye whiskey from who the hell knows where Ellie. I don't know what the hell that meant. Today, we're pouring and nosing and sipping and tasting and scoring or whatever. Today, we're doing that. Today, we're reviewing Crown Royal 16-year Noble Collection Blended Canadian Rye Whiskey. 16 years old and 90 proof. Oh, Canada. Mm. Jim has also sent me some phenomenal samples in the past, and I can't thank him enough. Thank you, Jim. Sorry it took me so long to get to this review, but guess what? We're here. We've, we're doing it, baby. We're freaking doing it. Heck yeah. This rye whiskey came in a container. It came in a sweet container, and then inside that container was this whiskey, but that whiskey wasn't just inside the container. The whiskey was inside of a purple bag that was inside the container, and you had to take the whiskey out of the container, but then you also had to remove it from its bag to get to where we're at now. And that's kind of where we're at now. Also, would like to say that the seal was broken on this bottle when I received it, so if I die, Jim did it. That's Jim. So, just saying. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No way. Are you serious? Oh, it says limited release. So you know it's going to be good. It's a little bit of a spicy bugger that you don't expect. Lots of rye notes coming forward. Lots of... Lots of citrus. A little bit of mint. If you made a citrus mint gum. Seems to actually be a tiny bit of oak coming through as well. Citrus mint oak gum. Hmm. Yeah, very nice nose. Very nice. There's no wondering if this is a rye. This is a rye for sure. Yeah. Doesn't really smell like a Canadian whiskey. I've smelled other Canadian rye whiskeys before. And other than the Alberta premium cask strength and like the lot 40 stuff, you don't really get a tremendous amount of rye goodness coming through the nose. They always seem a bit light and a bit watery. It's like a distributor gave the dealer the good stuff and then the dealer cut it in half with water or baking powder. You know what I mean? But this smells like the real deal. This smells like the product that was meant to be distributed. So I say we distribute some of this product from the glass inside my ass. So here we go. Down the hatch, A. Eh? Ooh. Light and fruity. Juicy fruit gum. It does taste right at its proof point at 90 proof. It's not punching above that at all. It has a nice spice to it and also seems to have a little bit of age on it. I don't think I'd ever guess it was 16 years old, but it definitely doesn't taste like a young rye. It tastes like a significantly aged, lower proof rye. I dig this. I do dig it. Second sip seems to be a little bit flatter than the first sip. It does rest on the back of the palate a little bit. A little bit of rye spice on the back of the palate, but overall an enjoyable experience. Nothing that I'm going absolutely crazy about, but if you do like a low proof rye and you're a rye drinker and you want a rye sipper that's not gonna like bench you too quick or like put you out of the game too early, but you're craving those aged rye notes, I would say that this is a very good pour. A very good pour. Crown Royal Noble Collection Blended Canadian Whiskey 16-year-old rye receives a score from me tonight of... Oh, I forgot it's a limited release. That's got to bump it at least a little bit. A score of... 7.7? 7? It's very good. A very good rye. I like it a lot. It's not blowing my doors off, it's not wowing me to the extreme, but I still think it's a very good rye, especially at its proof. That's gonna wrap up this video. Hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below. 
Are you familiar with this rye whiskey? What do you think? Or what's your favorite rye below 90 proof? My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on not letting your children eat inside your vehicles. If you care about your vehicles or about not looking like a slob at all. Because guess what? Kids don't have manners. They don't care. They don't care at all. The back of the Van Bergini looks like you put every single fast food and every single snack food inside of an industrial wood chipper and just blew it into the minivan. There is not a vacuum on this planet that wouldn't have a heart attack if it saw the mess inside this van. We brought our minivan to the detailer and we were like, can you fix this? And he said, you know what? I think I'm retiring after I get off work today, just so I don't have to ever look at something like that again. Our black carpet in our van is not black anymore. It's just the color of crumbs. I know that as soon as I open the van door, people will look at my gigantic body and judge me and think that I did that, but it was not me. My kids think it must be fun to crumple it up and sprinkle it everywhere. Like they're feeding geese, but there are no geese. There's just carpet. 